Hello, my name is Amit Garg with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video is about how to configure system platform to synchronize with an NTP server. NTP is an internet protocol used to synchronize the clocks of computers to some time references. Now, to synchronize the system platform with NTP server, I have logged into the web console page of control domain. Under this page, click server management. Under server management, click date slash time configuration. The system will display the date and time configuration page with default configuration settings. Configuring date and time are optional, but however, you must set up the correct time zone for your system platform. In my case, I am going to select Asia slash Kolkata as my time zone. Highlight this time zone and click set time zone. Press OK to confirm. The system platform will set this time zone for your DOM0, CDOM and all of the virtual machines running on the top of system platform. Now the time zone has been changed to Asia slash Kolkata. Now specify the NTP server under this time server field. In my case, I am going to specify nts200.dr dot .com and click add this will add the NTP server into your configuration file now the time server has been added successfully highlight this time server again and click ping this is just to verify that specified time server is reachable across the network now specified host is reachable here you can see the local clock which is nothing but the default NTP system clock. The local clock will be used as a backup resource if no other time source is available. That is why the system does not allow you to remove this local clock. Now these changes will be effective only once you restart your NTP service. In my case NTP service is already running so I need to first stop the NTP service and restart it again. To stop this service, click on stop NTPD button. NTPD is stopped now. So click start NTPD. Remember, this procedure is service effecting and it will shut down all of your virtual machines which are running on the top of system platform. So click OK to confirm. Now system platform is restarting and it will take approximately 5 minutes for the system platform to up. Now our system platform is up again. So login with your user ID and password. In the web console page of control domain, click server management. Under server management, click date slash time configuration. Click query state to check the status of NTP. Now this is the NTP server nts200.di.avaya.com that we have added. An asterisk sign on the top of it indicates that system platform is in sync with this server. So this is how we can configure the system platform to synchronize with the NTP server and verify the NTP status. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.